Hi everyone. Today I'll be explaining to you subordinates chaining technique. Now subordinates chaining is kind of quite similar to chaining of anchors. It is actually used for the same purpose. So why is it used? So let's say you are feeling very down. Let's say for example you are feeling very lazy. You are feeling like procrastinating. You are putting off things. So you are, you know, at an at an extreme unresourceful state. But you know, you really like to be at a very resourceful state. Let's say you want to feel enthusiastic or energetic or whatever it is. Now you know this this is a this is a big jump, isn't it? I am feeling quite lazy or I feel like procrastinating, and I want to suddenly feel enthusiastic. So making that jump is it's like you know you have this big puddle of water and you want to jump across it but it is actually too far <laughs> so what you do in that case is you put a couple of stones in, in the middle and then you jump across and then you go to the other side so that's what subordinates chaining is all about which i am going to demonstrate and i have lena with me so who is uh, the client and uh, here is lena something seems to be off today yeah actually I'm feeling a little lazy. A little lazy? Hmm. Oh, very lazy. Frankly, very lazy. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I have this nice intervention. First of all, would you like to let go of that laziness? So, how would you like to feel now? I want to feel enthusiastic so that the rest of the day is right. Okay, so you really want to feel that? Okay, permission <laughs> and. Um, so this is going to take something like 10 to 15 minutes. You have the time? Yeah. You really want to do this? Yes. Good. So now what what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this technique on Lena and uh, let's see what happens. And you can use this technique on yourself or you can help others as well whenever they are in an unresourceful state. So as I said, this is called submodalities chaining. It's really called submodalities swish chaining. Okay. So, ready? Okay. So, Nina, I want you to just sit straight. Okay. And uh, uh, look straight. And I want you to take a mental picture of this room. Yeah. Take a mental picture of this room. Yeah. And being in the state that you are currently, that is, you are feeling lazy. Now that you've taken the picture, mental picture of this room, now I want you to close your eyes. Yeah. Now, having closed your eyes, the mental picture that you've taken of this room, if you can just visualize that picture. You got the picture? <clears throat> Good. Now, right in the middle of that picture, you see a small window. And in that window, you are seeing yourself at a time in your life when you were very feeling very, very enthusiastic. <coughs> yeah. Now, whatever you are seeing in that window, you being very enthusiastic, just turn on the colors, make it more colorful. Add some upbeat music to it, some music that you really feel which will make you enthusiastic. <coughs> and when I say swish, what you will do is you will burst open this window so that the picture that's there in this window, the visual that's there in this window will superimpose itself on the old picture. The old mental picture of the room. Okay, so ready for this? Swish! Now you've entered this part, which is where you're feeling very enthusiastic. You've associated yourself with this part of you where you know you are very enthusiastic, that music is still there, and I can see that things are changing. Now with this new picture and you being a part of this picture, 
I want you to again visualize another small window in the middle of this picture in which you are seeing yourself even more enthusiastic. Make it bright, make it more colorful, add, add some more music to it. Really upbeat music, something that really motivates you, gets you energetic, enthusiastic. And again, when I say swish, this picture will expand itself and it will superimpose the earlier picture. Swish! And now you are feeling even more enthusiastic. Yes, and now you, now you are a part of this second new picture. You associated yourself being very, very enthusiastic. Now let's make you even more enthusiastic. Again, in the, in the middle of this picture, you, you see this another window opening up where you see yourself again in that window being even more enthusiastic at another level. In fact, the highest level, you've never been more enthusiastic in intensity than this. And again, turn up the color, the brightness, add that music which really makes you, which is a really upbeat music, which again is making you even more enthusiastic. Swish! now associated with and you see what's changing the enthusiasm in your head is really reaching its peak well stay with that enthusiasm okay stay with that enthusiasm and just to visualize what all you are you planned for the day. Think of all the things that you've planned for the day and visualize how you're going to do them with all that enthusiasm. Go step by step, see yourself doing things enthusiastically, energetically. Finally completing the day on a high note. Good. Now with that enthusiasm, open your eyes. How do you feel? <coughs> I'm going to get up. You want to get up and do them right today? Yes. I am not going to stop her now because now if I stop her and then she is, she is, again, you know, I, I, want, I don't want to say anything. Why don't you do one thing? You can just start off doing whatever you want to do. Okay. Right away. <laughs> okay, so this is how we do it. It's called the, there's a traditional swish pattern and then we we'll just change it so that, you know, people can reach the, whatever high state that they want to be in. It works like magic. The good part is you can run this on yourself. And another good part is that you can run this on others. Maybe you can run this on your kids. When they are feeling lazy, they don't feel like studying. You can do this on, uh, do this with them. You can do this uh, with your friends or maybe your colleagues or maybe your employees at workplace. Wouldn't that be good? But of course, for all of this, what is important is a rapport. And of course, sensory awareness. As a leader, you need to be sensorily aware Okay, yeah, my employees are feeling a little lazy. Let me just help them a little bit. Now, anyway, this can be used in coaching as well. And you know, you want the client to feel a little upbeat. The client, client is really feeling down. Various places. You can decide where you want to use this technique. I'll come back with some new techniques later. Thank you.